Our aim is to deliver the lightest, fastest, most technically advanced performance products on the track, on the court, on the street, where Nike will provide uniforms for 87 federations across 20 sports. Today, you will see our performance uniforms for track and field and basketball athletes, a totally new way to design and create performance footwear, Nike Flyknit, along with our new football boot that redefines the way sustainable design and high performance can come together, the Nike GS. All of these are based upon one overriding design principle, superior lightweight performance. As high performance and low environmental impact merge on the track this summer, let's take a look at the uniforms athletes will be wearing. The Nike 21st Century Windrunner is reimagined in a highly reflective material. This jacket will truly stand out while the world watches on sport's biggest stage. What's fascinating today is obviously the power of digital. We're living in a connected world with, with devices that are so smart and so powerful. The first ship that landed on the moon had less computing power than our phone. Sensors are smaller, sensors are smarter, sensors are cheaper. They demand less battery. Now we can use that, all that technology, to connect people to the insight and knowledge we have. So rather than having all this data that's captured in our labs, unique to a few group of people, we take the power of digital technology and bring it to everyone. Today, I don't think it's enough to just say just do it. They come to us and go, all right, you can say just do it, but how can you help me just do it? How can you enable me to just do it? Every different city is different, and it's just amazing how when you go to the Olympics, um, people welcome you. And it's, it's, it's like no other experience, because the whole world stops. And you, you see people in every language walking down the street, um, cheering you on, people you've never seen before. And uh, I, I, I just loved it because I had a chance to go to four and two in the United States. So I, I got a chance to anchor my, my best Olympics at home. When you come down to, to track and field, actually, a lot of people are talking about the big events that are going to happen. But I think the weather's going to change that because the weather being the way it is, some of the distance races may take precedent over some of the sprints. Some people you may think are going to win or not going to win. So I think it's going to be an interesting game and people should follow up for that reason. If you look at the shoes, when we first started wearing shoes in 1984 compared to 1992, now 2012, the innovation, the, 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 the weight of the shoes, the size of the shoes, uh, it's remarkable. Well, I think that was the coolest thing about being on the Dream Team. We made it a worldwide game. You know, it's fun when I see all these young players today, whether it's Manu Ginobili, Dirk Nowitzki, Tony Parker, guys like that. They all come up to us and say, we started playing basketball after watching the original Dream Team. So that to me, you know, people say, what was the coolest thing about 
being on the dream team. I said the fact that we made basketball an international game, a worldwide game, and that's pretty special. The one huge advantage the United States used to have when I played, these guys had never seen us before, only on television, so they were intimidated. But now most of them, these the other countries play in the NBA, so they aren't intimidated. But realistically, I think the only team that could really beat the United States would be the Spanish team. This new technology, like I say, I think it's just going to be better for people at home. If you're trying to get to the NBA, to the NFL, or to the Olympics, you're going to train hard. But people who are at home every day who just compete against themselves, that's who this is really going to benefit. I always believe light and easy is better. Because when I was a kid, and I told people all the time, the first thing you do is kick off your shoes and go run. This was back when I was growing up in the end. And so now you can feel that and still have product on you. So I think it's, it's a huge innovation change. And I think all the athletes is going to be a game changer. Our coach had to write down our workouts every single day and put in the thing, he ran this today, he ran that. And now having the Nike Plus, you don't have to do that. It's, it's, you can go back, quickly look at it. You can keep it track of it close to you. And um, it isn't something that I have to call and say, what was my time last week? That's something kept right with you, how many calories you burn so you can keep track of your weight. Especially me being a long jumper, weight was very, very important. So that's something that would help me as well. Well, I'm, I'm looking at uh, a lot of people, but my favorites are Allison Felix and uh, Sonia Richards Ross. They're my two favorites running. But I'm going to tell you something. The this, this sprints, men's sprints are going to be a little different than people think. Everyone says it's laid out. It's going to be uh, all these people. I think they're going to be some big surprises there. And uh, mark my word, especially because of the weather. It's not only for the athletes like myself. Um, it's for everybody to get involved, you know, and then just kind of keep a tab on what they've been up to. I'll say it'll be more competitive. I mean, the fact that we have now, like, you can connect it to your social networking page and compare it with your friends. I mean, everyone always wants to be the winner, don't they? So now you've got a chance to um, compete with your friends and try and get as much of the highest score as possible. I think the main thing with Nike Plus is it makes the invisible visible. So things you didn't know about yourself or your performance before, all of a sudden it's right there at the, in, the, in the palm of your hand. The power of, of knowledge and information is an incredible source of motivation. So if, if you look at what digital technology can tell you about yourself, how you're doing, how you can do it better, it, it, has, it holds an incredible power and that's the power of motivation and the power of recognition. And when you combine, combine that with Nike's knowledge of athletes and sports, you have an unprecedented amount of motivation that's served to you through digital. All of our uh, performance products deliver upon superior lightweight performance. So not only are they light, but they are light and fast, light and comfortable, light and cooling, and light and even sustainable. Every innovation at Nike starts with the voice of the athlete. Uh, in fact, that's the beautiful thing as a designer. We're not just starting with a blank piece of paper, we're starting with the input of the athlete. Uh, so they really help us to challenge the status quo to make our products better. So they have an input even before we put pen to paper and then along the way as well. So we give them the products for testing and get feedback to truly deliver the best possible product.